is here for you. This is Fox 14 News at 10. And I actually cried when I heard about that because I don't understand how anybody can do that to their children. A teen mother of two says she gets frustrated sometimes, but never enough to hurt or abuse her kids. Still a lot of shock over the three little kids held in scalding water until they were burned. I'm Mike Stevens. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Donna Gordova. Tonight, we do have an update on how those surviving, the two surviving kids are doing. The two-year-old girl has been upgraded to serious condition after surgery this afternoon, but we're told that she may lose a couple of toes from the severe burn she sustained. Remember, she, her brother, and sister were all brought to the hospital on Wednesday by their mother. The smallest child, just 18 months old, died on Friday. Her three-year-old brother is in fair condition. Now their mother, 19-year-old Nathalene Bolton, is in custody. She was supposed to be arraigned on murder charges and other related charges today, but that has been rescheduled for tomorrow. Their mom, of course, as we mentioned, is just a teenager. Teen mothers face different and some say more stress than other moms. For that reason, they can be at higher risk for abusing their kids. It's a story our Mitch Trustwell has been working on today, and he joins us now live from the news room with more on that. Mitch? Donna, teen mothers face a couple of uphill battles. Of course, in addition to the pregnancy, some teen moms still haven't finished school, and other mothers admit they themselves are still growing up. <coughs> Deanna Sweet, Angela Quimby, and Maria Potter all have one thing in common. They are teen mothers still in school. They all admit being a mom is different and more difficult than they ever expected. I get really frustrated and stressed out. It's hard, really hard. It changes your life. You can't do half the things you want to do. They learn life and school lessons here at Sierra Nueva High School, all while their kids are in the nursery. The lessons are particularly helpful to Angela, an 18-year-old mother of two on her own. Among the things she's learned, how to recognize and cope with stress. At those times, I just have to go in the bathroom and shut myself in there for my, by myself for about five minutes and just calm down. All the mothers heard the recent story about the teen mom accused of putting her kids in a bathtub of scalding water. It scared me because it can happen to anybody, really. They just got really stressed out, but I don't see how she could do that to her kids. I actually cried when I heard about that because I don't understand how anybody can do that to their children. It's Marilyn Watson's job to make sure mothers at Sierra Nueva never reach that point. She's a teacher and counselor. One of the things that we deal with in parenting is understanding that they're going to need all the support they can get from um, family, neighbors, even here at the school, oh, sure. so that they don't get to that point of extreme frustration. Watson knows these moms have a better chance. They're in school and they have support. The alternative... They drop out of school, they stay at home, and I think they're at home more, they're more frustrated, the chance for abuse is much higher. Sierra Nueva School serves about 200 students, and by the way, the youngest teen moms in the program right now Donna are just 13 years old. But Mitch, it seems like those young girls are learning some difficult but very important lessons there at the school. Mm -hmm. All right, Mitch Trussell reporting for us in the Fox 40 newsroom. Explosive testimony in the O.J. Simpson trial today, and a real explosion too. Testimony delayed about an hour today after a mysterious... Now at Jenny Craig.